Hey everybody, Mr. Murray here back on Mr. Murray's Mathland and today we are talking about uh, how to evaluate a definite integral uh, of a piecewise function. And so uh, take a look at this here. We have this piecewise function f of x and we are trying to integrate this from negative 3 to 9. Right, so the first piece uh, of the piecewise function is for x values less than or equal to 0, which that would certainly be negative 3 starting there. But we are going all the way to 9, and 9 is greater than 0. So we're starting with this function, and then we're, we're basically going to integrate it up until 0. But then starting from 0 all the way to 9, we're going to integrate the next one. We add the two results together, and that is our final answer. So it's it's pretty logical, actually, but still it could be a little overwhelming, a little weird looking if you haven't done one before. So let's just jump right into this. Like we said, we're going to start with negative 3, and it's all about that, that uh, transitional x value, that borderline x value, and we're, uh, this one is 0 in this case. So from negative 3 to uh, 0 there, sorry about that, from negative 3 to 0, we are integrating this first function, 4e to the negative 2x dx. Want to remember your differentials there for good math grammar. And then picking right up with 0 all the way till 9, it's the end of the integral, that will be integrating 6 root x dx. And so that's what you really want to have there is that uh, connectivity there. That, so from negative 3 to 0, 0 to 9, so that gives you that grand total of negative 3 to 9. Okay, and now it's just a matter of uh, you've got, you know integration, plugging things in, not making careless mistakes. So a little uh, practice here with the uh, integration here. So first up, we uh, want to come up with the antiderivative of 4e to the negative 2x. So the antiderivative of 4e to the negative 2x is e to the negative 2x. And then because you have that negative 2x, uh, it's not just x, you basically want to divide by negative 2. And so that's going to give you coefficient of negative 2, e to the negative 2x. Right, you're doing a little chain rule there, undoing the chain rule, I should say. You could use a little u substitution to help you sort that out if you've gotten to that by now in the course. And we'll be evaluating that from negative 3 to 0. Plus, and now we want to integrate 6 root x. Uh, 6 root x, remember, is really 6x to the 1 half. So just using that power rule for integration, you add one to the exponent. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, and then you want to divide this coefficient 6 by 3 halves. When you divide 6 by 3 halves, you're going to get 6 times 2 thirds, which is 4 x to the 3 halves, and we're going from 0 to 9. And so now here we go, evaluating each one of these individually. You always plug in the uh, top limit of integration first, so this uh, first expression we're going to plug in 0, so negative 2 e to the negative 2 times 0, and just remember it's minus, because you're doing the, the difference here between these values, minus the expression at negative 3, so negative 2 e to the negative 2 times negative 3. And if you're moving along, there's all sorts of little shortcuts you can take with double negatives, but you know, just watch yourself, don't make any careless mistakes. And now we're going to add what we get from this uh, second antiderivative, uh, plugging in 9 first. So we'll be plugging in and getting 4 times 9 to the 3 halves minus plugging in 0. And, you know, that should be pretty easy to see that that last part's going to become 0. And so now it's just a big uh, simplification here. So this is negative 2 e to the 0, and e to the 0 is really equal to 1, so we get negative 2 from that. This will be minus, uh, and in the next term, minus negative will be plus 2e to the 
positive 6 when you multiply those exponents. So plus 2 e to the 6. And here we will be doing 4 times 9 to the 3 halves. That would be the square root of 9 cubed. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. So 4 times 27 will give you plus 108. And on the end, minus 0, minus 0, blah, blah, blah. And so combining your like terms is going to give you 106 plus 2e to the 6th. And there we go. So uh, not so bad, really. Again, just break up whenever it spreads across you know, two or more functions. Break it up into two or more integrals at those x values. And this was really just as much a practice of uh, integration as anything else. So I uh, hope this helped clear it up and hang in there. Keep working hard and keep calm and calc on.